Hey everyone, Monday update, Tony George, DocSports.com. Yeah, I'm wearing a cheese scare. Why not? Put up over 500 yards in a blowout win against uh, the number one defense in the NFL. I'll take it. Um, we're going to have some uh, a look at this Monday night football game tonight. And uh, then when we're done, we'll give you a quick recap on what's going on over at the website. We'll get this out of the way early. Two things I wanted to tell you up front. If you're not following me on Twitter, I've been saying this for the last couple of years, follow me on Twitter. It's at T George Sports. If you would have followed me on Twitter and you're religious and just betting my free picks and don't ever go get the premiums and you just want the freebies, you went 5-0 and this weekend on Twitter picks, including a video yesterday I did on Twitter and then uh, with a teaser and then a player prop. And then uh, a half timeline pick on Carolina and Tampa on the under 20. Think they're going to score anymore? They were. Tom Brady lost his wife to play football and he loses to Carolina as a 13 point closing favorite against a third string quarterback. Wow. Yeah, just one of the many surprises yesterday. And we got caught up in them. Uh, that being, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Also, Every Tuesday, I do the NFL opening line report here. We get a lot of views on that. Tomorrow, we're going to do it in podcast form. That's right. The Vegas beat, I'm bringing back. I've just been busy with travel, some family stuff. I'm just like you guys. I got a family, putting down dogs to sleep, you know, you know, kids, lots of stuff going on, uh, college basketball around the corner, NBA, Major League Baseball. NHL, all the football going on, you know, just a lot of stuff. And now entering prop bets for all sports. So my days are limited on time. I mean, I just don't sit around and throw darts at a board. You know, if you're not putting in 10 to 12 hours a day minimum, capping and looking at stuff and gathering information, then you're not going to win in sports betting. And then you got to sit around all night and watch them. And then I go to bed till midnight because you're looking at box scores, figuring out where you went right and where you went wrong. Learning from mistakes, you know. So, nonetheless, we just haven't had time to do the podcast. Doug Upstone joins me tomorrow. And we're going to do the podcast, The Vegas Beat, at 11 o'clock a.m. Pacific. That's 1 o'clock Central, live on Twitter, at T George Sports, or on Facebook. If you're not a Twitter guy, just type in Tony George Sports. I have a group page over there. It'll be live there, and then if you missed it, don't worry about it. It's archived there. It stays right there, right on those two profile pages. Tomorrow morning, the NFL line report with Doug Upstone from DocSports.com. Let's talk about this game night. We'll talk about uh, a little recap here in a second. Um, And by the way, congratulations to the Phillies. Congratulations to the Astros. World Series starts Friday. Houston minus 200. Philly plus 175 to win the series. If you want to lay two to one, now's the time to do it. Hello. Ain't nobody going to beat them. No. No. Okay. This game tonight. Now, I don't know what's going on with 11 other handicappers over at DocSports.com. I don't follow them. You know, I do a couple of videos with Scott Spritzer every week, and him and I visit a little bit, so I kind of know what he's going on. Or, how, you know, good week, bad week, this, that, whatever. We, we visit. But for the most part, I really don't go over there. So there might be guys that have the seven-unit pick on this thing tonight, for all I know. I just didn't see any value in it from a betting perspective. I really didn't. I'm not laying eight on Monday Night Football. I don't care if it's Belichick at home against a weak sister, especially a weak quarterback, which he usually beats the piss out of, you know, and exploits them. But you got quarterback issues there at New England, and you cannot – believe an, an NFL injury report. Any further than you can throw a building. I got stung with that over the weekend with uh, Russell Wilson sitting out. Of course, I had a source close to the program that told me he probably was going to play. Well, he didn't. You don't want to bet him on the money line without Russell Wilson. They can't hit a bull in the ass with a handful of rocks on offense already. Proved it again yesterday. As both New York teams won again. Unreal. But, nonetheless, I think the only way to play this game, because I think the total's sharp, and I'm not laying eight. The only way to play this game is the same game teaser. 
Six points, side and total. Tease New England down to minus two. Tease a total up to 46 and take the under. What's Belichick going to do? We don't even know who's playing quarterback for him. Probably going to be Mac Jones, but you never know. Do you really need to risk him if he's just borderline ready to go against the Chicago Bears who are playing on the road? Do you really need to do that? Possibly re-injure the thing when Zappi's doing okay? Because all you're going to do tonight if you're if you're New England is run the football. Because they're number three in the league at running the football, and I think Chicago's like 30th to stop it. They're going to run the rock. They're going to pound it all night long. Little deacon dunk passing, that's about it. What, even if you start Jones, are you going to put him back there and have him throw it 35 times tonight? No. And what's Chicago going to do offensively? I don't know. But who knows? I think same game tease. Now, if you disagree on the total and you think that friggin' New England is going to put up 35 points tonight, then tease it down to 34 and take the over. I teased it up to 46 and take the under and get that down to minus two. You're getting through six, you're getting through seven, you're also getting through three. Those are three key numbers that you want to tease through, either up or down when it comes to the NFL. That's how I look at this game. And this is a small pick. This is not something you unload on, not getting rid of grandma's bonds. You know, don't sell what's left of your 401k. It's a small free pick. Okay. Um, over at the website, um, just a heads up, looks like right now we could have our college football game of the year this upcoming Saturday. It's a game I had circled three weeks ago. Uh, the line came out pretty close to what I thought it would. Maybe a point, point and a half higher than I like. If it stays steady, we're probably going to bust a move on it. We went three and one on Saturday, uh, six and one the last two Saturdays in college football. Uh, the only downside of that was we had a six-unit position on Purdue, and they never showed up. They never got off the bus. That was one of the worst prepared football teams. They were down 14 nothing with three minutes gone in the game. Pick six, and I mean, just, and to their credit, Wisconsin's playing better. But nonetheless, we took a hit. We still made money. On Sunday, just got, we went one and three. We got devastated. They had Miami as, as a top play. Anybody that watched that game last night, if you were with me, you watched it. First quarter, well, they should have had at least 17 in the first quarter. They should have kicked a field goal in the third quarter. They went for it on fourth and three. Bad coaching by Miami. They were hailing this guy as the second coming of Jesus. And now, you know, you won a game, but you probably shouldn't have. Tomlin out coached him, even though he lost. Tomlin out coached him. They made adjustments during the game, and once Miami couldn't find success slicing the dice, and they never changed anything. Frustrating to watch. Frustrating. But nonetheless, hey, look, we've been rolling along good in the NFL this year. We had a step, we had a step back on Sunday. We're sorry about that. We'll make it up to you this upcoming Sunday. Doc Sports, free 60 bucks. Link in the description below. Have a great Monday.